particular issue with passenger car turbos concerns high speed balancing and turbo Technics have specialized in this area for many years. All turbochargers need balancing and traditionally for larger turbos this has been achieved by balancing the components prior to assembly. However, in the case of small high speed turbochargers typically fitted on modern vehicles, it is not possible to achieve an adequate level of balance by this method and it is necessary in addition to balance the complete assembly as a built up cartridge. This balancing typically takes place at speeds close to the operating speed of the turbocharger which can be close to 200,000 revs per minute today and perhaps up to a quarter of a million revs per minute in the future. For this reason we use the high speed core balancing machine otherwise known as a VSR. Turbo Technics have made VSRs since 1984 and have supplied these to all parts of the world for service support and lower volume manufacturers. The latest machine, known as the Mark III, incorporates a number of advanced features which make it particularly easy, economical and fast to use. In principle, the turbocharger core is mounted in a slave housing, driven by compressed air via a nozzle assembly and flexible mounting. As the shaft rotates, the imbalance is sensed as a vibration of the nozzle assembly through an accelerometer which provides an electrical signal to the computer. Speed is sensed by magnetizing the shaft end and a sensor built into the shroud gives a speed signal to the computer which then analyzes these two signals. This is both to give balance and also phase information to indicate the out of balance position for the operator to correct. A slave turbine housing is selected to suit the particular type of turbocharger and this is then bolted into place using the quick release system and a suitable speed range selected. As the lid of the machine is closed the flap and shroud assembly moves into place automatically. The main air valve is opened slowly and as the turbocharger accelerates the recording starts automatically and continues to the maximum speed. The position of the heavy point is then indicated by the clock on the computer screen which is activated by touching the screen at selected points close to the main vibration peaks. The core is then removed and a balance cut made using a 